In this video we'll be looking at editing the reference list. In the last video we inserted our works cited list and I just changed the heading to reference list here. Your next step would be to go through the list making sure that you're happy with the information that has been included there including any of the punctuation whether it's alphabetical those sort of things and make sure you're checking it against a good APA style guide. One thing you may notice here is I have two particular sources by the same author in the same year. If we go back to our document and have a look at those in-text citations I have Jacob 1991 here and Jacob 1991 there but there's actually no way to distinguish between which source or title those citations are referring to. So we need to go back into our Manage Sources and I want to edit these two Jacob entries. So if I edit the first one, what APA enables you to do is distinguish between these two um, sources from the same author in the same year by simply adding the letter A to the first one and the letter B after the year for the second one and so on if you had more authors. So you'll notice here our in-text citation here has been updated to B and our in-text citation up here has been updated to A. But if we have a look at our bibliography, our reference list, these haven't actually been updated yet. So if I wanted to update this information, if I just click on the, um, the reference list and choose to update citations and bibliography, That then includes the new information which has been added. Now looking at my reference list, I made a note earlier that, that I would need to actually um, edit this particular reference because um, it's not actually got all the information that we need for this particular citation. For example, I can actually edit the text here. If I click on it, this information here should not actually be in italics. So I'm going to actually take the italics off. So I can edit the information there, but one word of caution, if at any point I go to update citations and bibliography after that, you'll notice that my changes are actually uh, written over and it's back to its italicised um, text. So what you might need to do is when you're happy with most of the information in your reference list and you want to make your final edits of any of the information that's in there, you might need to convert the bibliography to static text. Just to be safe you might want to save your document in a final version and then work on the, that version to make your changes so that you'll still have your other document where you'll be able to update um, the bibliography or, or the citations. So here now I'm going to convert this to static text. So essentially now this is all just text and I can make changes to it. So the changes I need to make for this particular example it's a television broadcast but I've actually entered it using the um, book section information and I need to make a few changes to it. So Jay Noyce for example is the senior producer. So I entered that information in the editor field but I need to actually change it to, um, to, note it to the senior producer. I also need to add information about Jay Brocky who is in fact the presenter.
And I think now I've got all the information I need for a proper APA citation for a episode in a television series. So now I've made all the changes that I need to make to my reference list and I'm happy with those changes. I would just save my final copy and I'm ready to submit my work.